working on the 1991 Nissan 240SX. Uh, this car started out in Arizona. Uh, I went and picked it up, had no motor, it was red. Uh, basically tore it all the way down to the chassis, had one of my friends paint the chassis itself. Relatively stock appearance, there's no body kit, there's no wing. The interior has 180SX seats. The dash is actually immaculate, which is pretty rare for these. Um, so pretty happy with that. It has a Nissan ECR R33 RB25 DET turbo engine in it. Uh, <clears throat> today we will be putting a new manifold on. I got my buddy cutting pie cuts out of some stainless tube right now. We'll go down to his shop and uh, help him out with that and then we'll come back up here with the portable TIG unit, tack it up into place, mock up the turbo, and then hopefully we'll get the turbo on today. If not, it'll probably be next week. Uh, not a lot of time on my hands to work on things at the moment, but we're getting there. Uh, this chassis is stitch welded fully for a little bit more rigidity. You know, I'm not planning on sliding this car too much, but when I do, I'd like to have as much control as I can. Uh, the only thing we have to do to finish it up is that turbo manifold. Uh, we have to wire in new injector plugs because these are 1,000cc uh, injectors that are a different plug style than the stock ones, obviously. A uh, little bit of wiring to do. The fuel lines, the fuel regulator, and a few little things here and there. The heater hoses to get it running. And then eventually I'd like to put an AC condenser, a compressor, and, and actually get the AC working. Uh, but that'll be down the road after we blow off the tires. Alright. Okay. Just got to Cooper shop. Got to make some pie cuts, pick up the welder, and we'll be good. Almost forgot my coffee. I would say you don't fuck my saw if it was just mine, but since it's only half mine, I really have to say. So we'll get this this guy. And now we're in it to cut up. So we got all the pieces cut, now we have to take the burrs off so that we do not f***ing up. We've got 9 degrees, 6 inch, 1 and 2's all cut at a 9 degree angle so that they can link up straight or correct any angles we have. This is going to take forever. <laughs> So we got all the pie cuts cleaned, deburred. I just got back to my house. We got the 240 mocked up with the new flange. We're gonna be welding the pie cuts onto uh, to create the rest of this manifold. And this is the collector. I bought this from Elmer Racing. I think they're in Australia. I believe it's Australia. I'll put something in the comments if not. But this bad boy will be getting mounted like this, right about here. We had to make all the runners come from this flange, go down all the same length, preferably. Um, and then we got a mock-up where we're gonna have the wastegate dumps come in. Next step, take all these, throw them in my dishwasher. Um, we actually just deburred them for like five, six hours. Um, so now we just gotta get the residue off of them, leave them raw. So we got all of the pieces loaded up here and let it rip for about an hour and uh, I think we'll be good.
All right, so the idea behind this is to get one or two runners done so that the rest will fall into place. And I'm looking at just about there. And then we'll figure out the rest of those. There's one more piece in there, no? Yeah. But I'll turn I'll turn the piece while you get that where you want it. We should be good. We should be there. All right, guys. It's the next weekend. Very limited time to work on things these days. So, going to pick up Coop, get his welder, get some argon. And then hopefully get the rest of that manifold tacked up and then I can give it to him and he can finish weld it throughout this week. Hopefully getting it all wrapped up by next week. So I haven't been recording a lot, just trying to get most of it done. Um, each piece takes a lot of thought and, and uh, a lot of time to build. So we didn't get as far as I would have hoped today, but we've got three runners on the manifold done. Uh, we got the one back here for the number three cylinder, one and two as well. Everything's tacked up, ready to be final, uh, finished welded on those three, but we're going to need to cut more pieces for these three runners here. Uh, we're anticipating these to go down and around, and this third one to come straight across to try and keep the uh, length of each runner the same. Um, shouldn't be much longer from here, probably about two weeks, uh, due to, you know, we're both busy on the weekends and getting back to this is it's not high on the priority list but it's definitely something we don't want to rush or anything like that you can see I only got a couple of pieces left need probably another 25 of each of the eighth inch the quarter inch and probably a couple of straights as well but for now call it a day clean up and then uh, hopefully get back at it as soon as we can. So it's been a couple of weeks since we've finished welded the manifold. Um, since then, I've gotten the turbo on the wastegates and I mocked up this downpipe just to get the tune right um, because I need a custom make the whole exhaust and I haven't gotten to that yet and I wanted to drive the car. Um, so this is the manifold on the car itself. I'm gonna grab a light. You see it in here. Everything is finished welded. Everything lines up really nice. It's a little close to the power steering pump, 
but I think if I get a shorter um, belt and just move the tensioner over, because it's got a, you know, it's almost maxed out the tensioner. So if I get a different belt, I think that belt's off of um, some minivan, I'm pretty sure from Nissan um, because they, I can't get the belts for the Skyline here in the States. Um, I'm sure you can order them, but why the hell would do that? Um, but we'll go into the car real quick and I'll show you the actual manifold itself. Don't mind the leaking rack. I'm replacing the rack here in the next couple days. Um, but this is the finished manifold. I was going to get some better video of it on the uh, workbench, but you know, Time got away from me and I forgot to film it because I was super excited. Um, but everything came out really nice. You can access the bolts very easily or the, the nuts for the studs, which is really nice where the old one was a huge pain in the ass. And you had to use like a cutoff 12 mil, um, 12 point to get to the actual nuts. Um, but here she is. Um, I'm actually getting a new turbo because this one is just a little bit too big. Um, the hot side, it takes, I don't know, it gets to like five gram before it starts to really build boost, which is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some better throttle response. So as soon as I get that new turbo in, we'll put it on and we'll get it tuned. Um, I'm thinking in the next week, we're putting it on the dyno. Um, hopefully making about 657 conservatively. Um, I didn't rebuild the head or anything like that. So it's stock valve train. So I'm going to be limited there. But I think, you know, we won't start floating the valves. I'm hoping until about eight. Um, but that's fingers crossed. So that'll do it for this video. But like, hit, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Instagram, Snapchat. Just keep up with your boy and I'll catch you on the next one.